were a ton of reasons to tune into this fight night card. We got to see some thrilling mixed martial arts from the start, maybe not at the finish, <laughs> but somewhere in between. Yeah, ultimately, it was a really, really enjoyable night. And these days, sometimes there's a lot of things you can look for. Excitement in the fights, knockouts, KOs, technique, whatever it is you're after. But on some nights, there's just really cool little nuggets that happen. And I want to look at some of those in the breakdown. A couple of really good ones this time. Bang or main. You know, anytime the UFC goes somewhere brand new, the crowd goes crazy. And it was no different this time. And that can really urge on the fighters. And we saw some good performances from a few of them. Sarah McMahon is an Olympic-level wrestler. But her striking looked good to set it up these days. And uh, she was able to put on a display of some solid wrestling against an opponent, maybe not of her level when it comes to the wrestling. Let's look at that again in slow motion. Look at the punch as she brings it all the way back and fakes a level change at the same time. She doesn't respond to the level change so she changes her level shoots in on the single and from here it's academic she's going to reach the far hip when she doesn't get it she'll continue and turn around the back and then kick out the leg so just a beautiful beautiful performance she should be able to do that all night against somebody who is not an olympic level wrestler but her striking looked excellent look goes to the body so again she changes her level to deliver that then goes upstairs gets her thinking up and down comes in gets the body lock and the throw watch it again she goes in to change to the body boom that changes your level so she responding to the level change no, let's get her thinking upright. She's going to respond there, and we go straight to the body lock. Knee in, knee tap in here, look to the sky, turn the body, and fire her through the air. That's exciting stuff. People don't always respond to wrestling, but it's these kind of throws, I think, that are getting people interested in the art of wrestling, the way it's used in MMA. But the uh, jiu-jitsu, man, there was some really outstanding stuff from Formiga against a talented wrestler in Makovsky. If we look at this, what is going on here exactly? What? is that awesome stuff let's look at that one again so he climbs up to the back and watch as he is going to use his core connect the upper and lower body and he looks like a diver and a diver will use that to enter straight it forces uh, Makovsky to the ground and he was able to use the same combination of being on his back and getting him to the ground in compromising positions this time he uses the leg you can almost go for a knee bar there Makovsky to defend the knee bar had to bend the knee which resulted in him being taken down but Makovsky had great Great moments in the third round. He's a talented 125er. Look at this. As he uses the momentum, stretches out, and uses it to spring. Boom. That is some nice stuff there. Makovsky had some moments. Won the third round. Great 125-pound bout. But this is the one that brought the house down. Tim Boach from the area. And uh, he has taken a beating at the beginning. We've got it in fast motion because I don't think Tim wants to see this part again. But he shows his toughness. And there's nothing I like more in a breakdown than showing a whole bunch of knees in fast motion because somehow... That's just really amusing. It ain't amusing for Tim Boach, but he did show off an incredible chin, and that opened up the uh, opportunity to do that. Doesn't look like much. Little inside left hook. But if you look at it in slow motion, and you look at some of these moments, I'm going to show you coming up right here. Watch this. He will get inside, and watch the knee. Boom. So the knee is there. Watch where the left leg goes. It steps back, and he stomps back on it, which drives the hip forward. So as he, the leg goes back, he lands the stomp, and it turns his body, and that's what creates knockout power, especially when you're a big, powerful guy like Tim Boach. Man, that guy can stop you at any given time on any given night, and that makes him a very exciting fighter.